stay on quarterbacks and let's go to the Giants versus the Niners and let's start with Eli Manning. When you look at Eli Manning, I, I was shocked by this looking it up. It's been eight years now that he's been in the league. I was like, I, I thought it was like five or six. So clearly there's a body of work. He's a clutch player. He also is a guy, to me, though, that's feast or famine when it comes to fantasy. Is he the 25 interception guy from last year? Or is he the guy that's made Mario Manningham, Hakeem Nix, and Victor Cruz no-name elite receivers? What is Eli Manning going into next year as a fantasy quarterback for you? I, I think he's in that second tier, maybe the bottom of that second tier. But he, he's a top 10 quarterback. And, and those interceptions were a little bit misleading. Yes, he had 25 that year. But a lot of them were deflections. A lot of them were, you know, off the receiver's hands into the defender's arms. And he still finished, despite that, in the top ten for fantasy producers at the quarterback position. He's a little underrated, in my opinion, based on, you know, given his name, you would think he'd be higher higher up on the board for a lot of people. But but a lot of people think think of that same mindset that, you know, he's not, you know, the guy. He never puts up big games, but he does it on a consistent basis. He will lay the occasional egg, but also he has the occasional game where he just comes out and lights – lights the scoreboard up. I mean, you you saw this week in the playoffs. I think he had almost 300 yards by halftime, and and that's an extremely, extremely high number for a quarterback, even even a Manning. And it really is nice to see that he's a guy that I like. Maybe if I can't get one of those top three guys, it slipped to me and be extremely happy having him on my roster. Victor Cruz is an elite receiver. He's a top five fantasy receiver this year who came out of nowhere. But again, the Giants have done that sort of since Eli Manning has been there. I mentioned those names. You can throw Plaxico Burris in there a couple of years ago. Uh, is Victor Cruz here to stay? Is he a top five receiver pick next year? I want to see one more good season out of him. Every year we seem to have this wide receiver come out of nowhere and, and finish in the top five, and so he goes extremely high on draft boards. Well, next uh, Jeff, that was Miles Austin, wasn't it, a couple of years ago? Yeah, I mean, Austin's battled some injuries. And, I mean, again, and you've had, you had guys like Brandon Lloyd last year who had a monster year and was considered by some to be a top five guy. Um, Mike Sims Walker a couple of years back was huge. I got burned by Sims Walker because I thought he was going to be big. Um, Sidney Rice has been another one, Stevie Johnson. Those guys have, have put up productive numbers in one season, and then the next year come back down to earth a little bit. They've still been productive. They're still you know second, third wide receiver, but when you're drafting those guys as a number one and they aren't, that can really damage um, your team, especially in those early rounds where the picks are so important.